Russia's Wagner mercenary group plans to provide an air defense system to Lebanon's Hezbollah militants or to the regime in Tehran as part of an unprecedented defense cooperation between the two U.S. adversaries. Our information indicates that Wagner, at the direction of the Russian government, was preparing to provide an air defense capability to either Hezbollah or Iran, National Security Council spokesman John Kirby told reporters. The Wall Street Journal, quoting unidentified U.S. officials, said earlier this month that Wagner was preparing to supply the Panzer S-1, a Russian self-propelled anti-aircraft gun and missile system known as SA-22 by NATO. Wagner, which is funded by the Kremlin, has been brought back into line after a failed mutiny in June that presented the biggest threat to President Vladimir Putin's two-decade rule. We are certainly prepared to use our counter-terrorism sanctions authorities against Russian individuals or entities that might make these destabilizing transfers, Kirby said. He added that Iran was considering providing Russia with ballistic missiles now for use in Ukraine in return for that support. Washington has been warning of deepening military relations between Moscow and Tehran, a burgeoning relationship that Kirby described as obviously harmful to Ukraine, certainly harmful to Iran's neighbors, quite frankly harmful to the international community. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Choigu paid an official visit to Iran in September, described as an important step for military cooperation between the allies. Both countries are subject to international trade sanctions and have forged close ties in a number of sectors. The new air defense systems would undoubtedly escalate tensions in the region, where Israel's air force is able to operate with relative impunity, as Hamas and Hezbollah lack the hardware to shoot its aircraft out of the skies. Pentagon spokesman Brig. Gen. Pat Ryder told the journal that the report was very concerning if true. One official told the journal that it wasn't clear whether the anti-aircraft system had already been delivered, but officials said they were monitoring talks between Wagner and Hezbollah and considered the issue one of major concern. Wagner Group, which launched a failed mutiny against Russian leader Vladimir Putin in June, is a state-financed private military company previously led by Yevgeny Prigozhin. Prigozhin died in a plane crash in August, in what U.S. intelligence assessed was a likely a Russian-backed assassination, and his 25-year-old son Pavel Prigozhin has reportedly taken command of the organization. The Greyhound anti-aircraft system, a NATO designation for what Russia calls the Panzer S-1, could give Hezbollah advanced capabilities to repel Israeli aircraft, cruise missiles, and precision munitions. Russian developers claim that it is capable of engaging stealthy jets, such as the F-22 and F-35. The latter is the most advanced fighter jet deployed by the Israelis. The Greyhound system consists of a missile launcher, radar truck, and command post, and is designed for point air defense against manned and unmanned aircraft, as well as some missiles. Delivery of the system could raise tensions on Israel's northern border, where Israeli Defense Forces IDF, troops have been exchanging fire with Hezbollah. Israel, which has launched a ground assault against Hamas in Gaza, hopes to avoid opening a second front in the war on its northern border.
The U.S. has positioned the USS Gerald R. Ford Aircraft Carrier Strike Group in the eastern Mediterranean in a bid to deter Iran and Hezbollah from further aggression. The USS Dwight D. Eisenhower aircraft carrier and its strike group are also in the eastern Mediterranean and are expected to transit the Suez Canal this weekend on its way to the Middle East. On Thursday, there was a major escalation along the Lebanon-Israel border with Hezbollah, attacking Israeli positions with drones, mortar fire and suicide drones. Hezbollah reportedly attacked 19 Israeli posts along the border, including one that was struck with two suicide drones. The Israeli military said it had retaliated with warplanes and helicopter gunships on Hezbollah command centers, arms depots and sites from where the rockets were fired. Two people were injured after rockets fired from Lebanon hit the northern Israeli town of Kiryat Shmona, Israeli medical services said.